We go through a lot of single point dressing tools. We typically buy the pricey ones, but are tempted to go with the cheaper ones. Are the pricier ones worth the extra money? Well, there are big differences in diamonds and single point dressing tools. Basically, there are good ones and there are bad ones. And the good ones do last a lot longer than the bad ones. And that's been pretty well established through uh, wear measurements. So is it worth the money to go with the pricier ones? Well, it depends what kind of shop you have. If you're one of these guys who rotates his diamond frequently, has good coolant on his dresser, takes care of his dresser, then yeah, you're probably better off going with the price of your diamond because your diamond's gonna last longer. But if you're one of these guys who doesn't have good cooling and half the time doesn't turn on the cooling or forgets, never rotates his diamond, uh, accidentally crashes into his diamond with a 5 thou depth of cut, and basically his diamond dies a premature death due to abuse, then go for the cheap stuff because you're probably gonna kill your diamond through misuse long before you gradually wear it away. Now you're probably gonna say, well, no, 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 that's not us. We always rotate our diamonds and we always have good cooling and we take good care of our diamonds. And I'm not so sure because uh, I've been to a lot of factories, very good factories, very good companies, state-of-the-art equipment, but they just abuse the hell out of their diamonds and you go to a machine, you say, oh, can I take a look at your diamond? And they say, sure. We pop it out of the machine and we look at it. And it's all black and it's flat and it's ugly. And you say, well, how are you guys cooling this diamond? And they look and, well, there's no coolant running on the diamond. And half the time they're taking a 3 thou depth of cut when they, when they uh, dress in their wheel just to save time. And there are a lot of places like that who are otherwise good companies, but they just abuse their diamonds. So I go to a factory and pop off their diamond and take a look at it. And instead of seeing a diamond that looks like this, a nice neat diamond, it's rotated, it's looking good, what we see is a nasty, flat, ugly, black, burned diamond that looks like the one over here. And it's because they're just abusing their diamond. So if you take care of your diamonds, buy the pricey stuff, if you abuse your diamonds, Go for the cheap stuff.